Hi, my name is James Newman. Here's a quick tip for Salonis Dina models. Um, Salonis will automatically detect a one-to-n relationship in the data model. So if you have two tables, such as we have here, our test activity table and our cases table, this is the bare minimum rows that you can load into a data model. You've got one case and two activities. I suppose you could have one and one. But So here we've got them joined, and you'll note that the dimension table, the one here, is actually listed as the activity table, and the fact table is actually the end. So we can swap these back and forth. It's really there for your knowledge, for you to use as reference. Um, Salonis will load it either way. Um, that, that can be really handy, right? If you, you've got maybe two data models, two big tables that you're not entirely sure how they match up, throw it against the, the compiler here and see, see if it will load and you'll get a sense for what happens. Um, so for example, I can load this back, swap it, so activities is n, save that, and then load it. It's pretty small here, it'll only take about 15 seconds or so. And so what you'll see then is that it'll load regardless, it'll automatically detect. Um, so this is really handy. And I can switch over here to the Process Explorer and you can see this A to Z, and there are my two activities. Um, and regardless of whether or not it's this way, where it was loaded, where the cases was n, or now it's loaded, I'll go back over refresh, and you'll see it'll work both ways. Um, so don't get wrapped up about making sure all the connections are right. Salonis so can automatically detect it. It can be really handy. Hope this tip was helpful. Uh, have a great day.